coming up on this week's episode, NTSB may focus on flight training reform. Also, Blue Line Aviation orders 100 Diamond Aircraft and Hodges University to award credit for pilot licenses and ratings. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training. This is a weekly program dedicated to all things flight training, from future pilots, current pilots, and to anybody interested in the aviation world. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. If you are looking forward to the 2021-2022 Most Wanted list, well, NTSB postponed it, with no future announcements set. The agency said it will only post the new date on the NTSB board calendar. SAFE has long advocated for flight training reform based on educator improvement. SAFE convened the GA Pilot Training Reform Symposium in 2011. This led to the creation of the FAA ACS. SAFE members, including Rich Stoll and Doug Stewart, testified at NTSB hearings. The MVL press release says the postponement is to let them further refine the safety items on their next two-year MWL, said Kevin D. Murphy, SAFE Communications Director. He noted that the NTSB has already recommended closer FAA surveillance of CFIs with an automatic alert to FAA when local CFIs pass rate for initial certification falls below 80%. SAFE advocates for a less statistical and more systemic approach of improving CFI's professionalism. We hope for a more nuanced approach to improving aviation educator professionalism, not a statistical tripwire, said SAFE Executive Director David St. George. After the break, virtual WAI conference starts today. More news after these messages. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the flight training industry, we're going to be summarizing some shorter but interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Pan Am Flight Academy has upgraded its second Boeing 777 Level D full motion flight simulator. Based in the Aviation Academy's headquarters in Miami, Florida, the Level D B777 has been upgraded to embody the popular B777-200ER. The upgrade includes a conversion to the GE engine software model along with enhanced ground proximity warning system and the incorporation of an upset prevention and recovery training solution using a wireless tablet. Virtual WAI conference starts today. Women in Aviation International members and conference attendees will no doubt connect with the impressive roster of speakers scheduled for the 32nd Annual International Women in Aviation Conference on March 11th until the 12th from the convenience of one's home or office. A virtual Girls in Aviation Day will take place on Saturday, March 13th, where girls ages 8 to 17 will be introduced to the career and lifestyle possibilities available in aviation. Rod Machado e-course is about to be upgraded. Rod tells us that the company that supports the Articulate mobile player app will remove this app from the Apple and Google stores on March 23rd. The Articulate company will then only support online courses due to the Adobe's abandonment of its support of Flash. 
But don't panic. Rod has an app in development that allows downloading of e-course videos for offline viewing, and he estimates availability by late April. Naval Air Station Pensacola's Training Squadron 86 changes command. The Sabre Hawks of Training Squadron 86 held a change of command ceremony at Naval Air Station Pensacola on March 4th. Commander George Cobb Zintak relieved Commander Eric Cheese Reeves as commanding officer during an aerial ceremony that followed a ground-based segment. Reeves, a native of Baldwinville, New York, assumed command of VT-86 in November 2019 after serving as executive officer since June 2018. During his tenure, Reeves oversaw a cadre of around 60 instructors dedicated to training Navy and Marine Corps and international military naval flight officers. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Diamond Aircraft Industries Inc. and Blue Line Aviation recently inked a firm order for 50 Diamond Aircraft, including single-engine DA-40 NGs, twin-engine DA-40-6s, and a Diamond Simulator, with an option for up to 50 additional aircraft. The order comes less than a year after Blue Line Aviation's eight-year anniversary, which was celebrated with the delivery of a brand new DA-40NG from Diamond Aircraft Industries, Inc. Blue Line has increased its fleet of modern aircraft to 16, including DA-40NGs and two DA-42-6s. The company was founded in 2012 to provide the highest quality flight instruction in a professional environment. The timing of this aircraft order marks a significant milestone for Blue Line Aviation, said Scott McFadzin, CEO of Diamond Aircraft Industries, Inc. Blue Line is also in the midst of constructing a new $16 million, 50,000 square foot headquarters at Johnston Regional Airport with plans to permanently relocate in 2021. The state-of-the-art flight training facility will feature hangar space, the professional pilot training center, a barbecue restaurant and rooftop terrace, simulator room, operations center and dispatch, flight briefing rooms, and diamond aircraft maintenance and administrative offices. After these messages, flight training students are now able to receive university credits. I'll tell you which university after the break. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Swift Fuels proudly introduces the Forever Avgas STC. One simple upfront purchase entitles the Forever STC certificate holder to receive all current and future Avgas STCs that the FAA issues to Swift Fuels. The best part? It's priced today at only $100, and the prepaid certificate never expires. Get your Forever Avgas STC today at SwiftFuelsAvgas.com. Affordable and economical, Pipistrol is proud to present the Alpha Trainer. The aircraft can use as little as 2.5 gallons per hour in a flight school setting, with multiple students and instructors each day. This means that 13.2 gallons of fuel can effectively give you as much as 5 hours of endurance. Learn more about what the Pipistrol Alpha Trainer can do for you at pipistrol-usa.com. Welcome back. First Landings Aviation and Pilots Inc. flight training students are now able to receive university credits towards a Bachelor of Science degree at Hodges University for FAA licenses and ratings earned. Students accepted by Hodges University may be awarded up to 30 credit hours and will be eligible for scholarships, grants, and student loans. We are incredibly excited about working with Hodges University. We can now offer our students, those in local high school, as well as local and international adult students, the opportunity to obtain both a Bachelor's of Science degree as well as a commercial pilot's license, said Captain Adam Valenchik, Chief Instructor at Flight Landings Aviation. Credit hours may be applied to the 
University's Bachelor of Science Interdisciplinary Studies in the Aviation Program, or alternatively may be applied as elective credit to a variety of other associate or baccalaureate degree options offered at Hodges. All classwork is offered online, so the students will have maximum flexibility in studying with their schedules. Both Hodges University and First Landings Aviation have rolling enrollment, with classes commencing at the beginning of every month. Well, that does it for our show today, your one-stop shop for all things flight training. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media and feel free to leave a comment. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.